everyone, this is Megan with Able Cine, and I'm here taking a closer look at the Canon Sumire Prime lenses. Now these lenses are the new ones from Canon that are the full format lenses, so they offer a really great option for all the full format cameras out there as well as, of course, Super 35. I have it here featured on a Sony Venice, but you could also use it on a Canon C700, a Red Monstro, an Airy LF, or an Airy Mini LF. Now let's talk about the outside of the lenses first. I always like to talk about the mechanics first and then we'll take a look at uh, the different features of how they create the look. So these lenses are similar from the exterior, as you can see, to the Canon c and E's. They are 114 millimeter diameter, which is the same diameter as the Canon c and E's. It's a really nice, compact, universal diameter. We can use 4x5 clip-on or studio matte boxes with it. It does also feature a 105 millimeter screw-on option, so we could keep our filters even slimmer if we needed to, so you wouldn't even need a matte box. Other things it features is phosphorescent numbering in terms of the focus gears. So when we're shooting in the dark, we can see you know, exactly what focus we're at, so that's a really great feature. In addition, all of these lenses are extremely fast. They range from a T1.3, and the 14 millimeter is a T3.1. As you can see, this 15 millimeter here is a T1.3, so extremely fast. And in my example footage, you'll notice I did shoot a variety of T-stops because I did want to see how the lenses perform wide open, but I also want to see how the lenses perform at deeper T-stops. Another element to the design is they have the same spacing for the gears as the CNEs, as well as across the line of Sumire Ray lenses, which means as a camera assistant, if I have this configured with a file focus matte box, maybe a Preston or a wireless uh, focus of another kind, I would set up the gears accordingly and I could change lenses without uh, having to rearrange my accessories, which is really great. Another design feature that I want to mention is that the iris blades are designed with 11 different iris blades, which does create a really nice soft bokeh. Now let's talk more about the look. So the name of these lenses is Sumi Rei. That is actually named after a Japanese delicate flower when it is wide open. And so I thought that was really interesting because it kind of lends itself to knowing more about the design of the look. These lenses, I do have to say, do have an organic look to them. They do have a very natural feel. Uh, some of that is similar to previous Canon lenses. You'll notice the colors look very similar. We have warm skin tones. Uh, they do uh, present really nice resolution and sharpness. However, these lenses have an even more unique look than previous Canon c &Es, for example. Um, and they do really give a characteristic to, uh, to the style and to uh, like a talent that's um, sharp in the foreground versus maybe their background. So take a look at those types of elements when you're viewing our example footage. One thing I really liked is that this allows you as a DP to really choose your look when you're shooting on a large full format, sharp, uh, high res camera. We can still choose a unique look with the lenses and I think these lenses really do provide that. So take a look at our example footage as well as the technical notes below. And please be sure to stop by our showroom to check these lenses out. Look forward to them shipping soon. And thanks everyone for watching.